Welcome back. You're with us on Closing Bell. And uh, let's move on and uh, talk about Zydus Life Sciences, which reported a good set of numbers for the first quarter. Growth was led by strong U.S. sales. Revenue saw 30% increase on a year-on-year -year basis. EBITDA expanded 81% over last year. To discuss this and more, uh, Ekta caught up with uh, Shravil Patel, the MD of the company. She started off by asking him about the U.S. business. Take a look. So I think the U.S. business has seen an overall uh, great quarter. Uh, actually, Revlimid has been also in the previous quarters also. So on a quarter-to-quarter -quarter basis, there has not been any major uh, significant increase on, on only Revlimid. But it's just because of the portfolio of products that we were able to launch many one-time buy opportunities with some uh, pricing in the U.S. being uh, relatively uh, stable. Uh, and better product mix, I think, has led to uh, a much better performance than... Uh, normally expected. Okay. All right. So that's the reason for the improvement that you've seen in the U.S. business. Uh, what is the quarterly run rate that we can expect for the U.S. sales going forward now, considering that you are at this level of around $295 million? Are we going to assume this is a base going forward? So I think on the U.S. business front, uh, we do uh, strongly believe that over the, uh, this coming financial year, we should have a good double-digit growth uh, to the U.S. market, uh, assuming that we will still have competition to one of our differentiated products. So in spite of that, we will see a good double-digit growth to the U.S. business. Okay, good double-digit growth. Is the Pfizer injectable plant uh, getting damaged in the U.S. maybe an opportunity for you all? Um, so I think it's too early to say. The only uh, uh, media reports say that there was most to do with the warehousing and other areas. But uh, so I think I would have no comments on to know whether there has been any impact because of supplies related to this. Okay. Now coming to India, India in fact has grown just shy of 10% this time round. Adjusted for NLEM, what was the growth and what are you guiding for in FI24? So I think the India business has done very well for us. Uh, we have adjusted to NLM and have had a growth of 12%, which is much better than the market growths. And if you take the journey over the last three to four quarters, we have consistently delivered market uh, growths uh, for our India formulations business, which is a large formulations business for us. Uh, and more importantly, I think going forward also, we are seeing good uh, trajectory to this. This is helped by our proprietary and differentiated molecules uh, that we have been able to launch in, the, in India, and they're becoming more sizable and relevant for us. And uh, going forward also, I think uh, what is very happy to note is this quarter, we had almost a 6% volume growth. So uh, it was not a price-led growth, but sheer improvement in volumes that has also led to this growth. Okay. Uh, and what about margins? Because the U.S. has done well. Your margins have come in at these elevated levels of around 29%. Uh, tell us, what is a range which is sustainable for you when it comes to your operating margins? So, yes, we have had a, a significant improvement in margins. And going forward, also, we believe that from our earlier guidelines, guidance, we would see at 150 to 200 basis points improvement in our margins in the coming financial year. Okay, so what is a sustainable level that we can expect? So 24 or 24 plus is something that is sustainable. Okay. Uh, your NCE subsidiary, last quarter the company had made an impairment of around 600 odd crores in Sentinel Therapeutics. What was the performance like this quarter? So the, the, now the Sentinel is working mostly on ultra-rare orphan disease. It has launched a one product which is new pre and we hope that in the coming year we have two more important launches that come up in the rare diseases side. Uh, so the, the scale up is still uh, very early on. I think we need another next two to three years for this business to scale up uh, from its earlier levels uh, after we stopped selling one of the drugs uh, in the last year after genericization. Well, the